Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to um, we do a live stream. Um, I'm doing a digital download uh, code giveaway um, at 11 o'clock, or maybe 11.15, because I got late doing my stream. So, uh, the digital download code giveaway. Um, some new DVDs that I got, and um, we're gonna talk about some just a bunch of random stuff. It's kind of like what these live streams are for. And so, let me pull up on the TV over here. Yeah, I got one of those cool Roku TVs. It was a gift, cool Roku TV. It was a Christmas gift, really neat. I like how you can watch. I just like that the fact the idea that I can watch uh, YouTube on here because I like because that's what I do, I do YouTube and everything so. Um, so yeah, I just do YouTube and stuff, you know, my comments, yeah, so, and if y'all, um, want to comment, please say hi, if you have any questions, you know, I'm free to answer them, um, I'm not wearing my headphones right now, because I don't know if anybody wants to come on the stream, but if you do want to come on the stream, please feel free, um, talk about some, some DVDs and stuff, hello, Aaron, I saw you saw my, um, you saw my uh, Twitter Twitter stuff. I know. So um, the code giveaway is at 11, 11, 15. I don't know where you are. You are in uh, Central Standard Time because I'm in Central Standard Time. So, um, and I haven't decided which which download code I'm going to give away. Um, I have Spiral, Nobody. Mortal Kombat, and Wrath of Man. So whatever one, um, whoever comes on the stream um, until then, um, I will um, do a code. Um, I'll do a wheel or whatever, and we'll do the, we'll see who gets the thing. But which one do you, are you interested in? Do you want Spiral, Nobody, Mortal Kombat 2021, or Wrath of Man? They're all new movies, so... Or fairly new movies. Uh, but yeah, the code giveaway is at 11.15. Hello. Excuse me. I hope that is not my whole fucking stream. I'm looking at my thing on here, and the uh, maybe my internet's all messed up, but it looks bad. Yeah, feel free to answer any questions, any guy, anything you want to know. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, anyway, but, yeah, how are you guys doing today? Um, I've just been, just been hanging out, had to work today, and, um, uh, and everything. Haven't been doing, haven't been doing much. This video is brought to you by Fanta. Fanta, Fanta, don't you wanna, wanna, Fanta. Oh, I guess my audio and everything sounds good because I'm watching it on here and it seems all choppy and, and everything. I don't want it to be all choppy and stuff. Anyway, um, first DVD we got is this, and I got all these I got at a garage sale, 
I guess that's why the title it says new old movies. Um, I have no idea if any of them work or or anything. I didn't really check the disc. Um, I got them for a dollar at a garage sale. So, um, but this first DVD that I got is a ten movie Blu-ray or not ten movie Blu-ray, ten movie DVD um, list. You got what do you got in here? You got Prom Night, Halloween, H two O, Puppet Master, movie called Curtains, Hellraiser Inferno, Dracula Two, Children of the Corn Part Five, Fields of Terror. Trancers, Howling. Oh, it says them all in the back. So let me. Hey, Bronco, would you like to come on the stream, man? Um, I've been at last. I think one of the last videos I. I know it sounds bad to say. I one of the last videos I watched of yours was um, you're addressing that guy who apparently was talking shit about you. So, hope everything kind of smoothed over with that. But feel free if you want to come on the stream, man. I'll post the link. I'll send you a link on the. In the chat, and you can come on. Um, but yeah, now I got Prom Night, Puppet Master, Curtains, Halloween H2O, Hellraiser Inferno, Dracula 2, The Ascension. Is that what? Oh, it's a Wes Craven movie. So I know. That's Popper Elm Street and uh, um, Children of the Corn, Part 5, Fields of Terror. Trancers 1, Halloween 4, The Original Nightmare, and Ray Bradbury Theater. I have no idea if any of those are good. I know Prom Night's a decent one, and people seem to really like Puppet Master. Hellraiser Inferno, I'm trying to think. Hellraiser Inferno. Is that the one where he goes to space? Because it seems like the one they would the one thing. They go to space. If they, um, I don't know which, any of y'all know which the Hellraiser movies, which one they go to space at? Because I can't remember. But yeah, they came out in 2000, 2011. That's what it says, it says 2011. So this is a, this has to be a, uh, but that doesn't make sense because the people on there is like, Ray Bradbury Theater, but there's pretty people on there. You got, it's hard to say. I'm not going to show it on here because it's hard to tell. But you have a young, young Jeff Goldblum. You have a young William Shatner. And then, yeah. And these are just kind of like the 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 cream of the crap of uh, the um, of the movies of these uh, particular franchises. Look at this cover art, too. This cover art sucks. Look at the cover art of this. It says 10 horror movies. The disc. The paper was kind of fucked. Anyway, hey, goth gamer girl. Um, the cover art was kind of messed up because that looks really bad. That's not anything what Michael looks like in the in the movie. Like I don't remember him him in his arm like that. I think they just kind of copied and pasted the. Uh, that is the right mask from the movie, but I think it just kind of copied and pasted the uh, cover, and they they changed the cover. But Michael does not look like that in the movie at all. But anyway, let me know if any of those are good. I doubt it. Besides Prom Night, Puppet Master, and um, yeah, I think those are the only ones I think I know for sure that aren't as bad as probably the other ones. But I could be wrong. And I'm pretty sure Hellraiser Inferno. I don't know what which one that one was. Let me look at the year. Oh, Hellraiser Inferno. Nope, doesn't say. All of them say 2011 Mirror Max. So this is a 2011, 2012. Yes, I have watched Space Jam. Like Space Jam, the original, or are you talking about the new Space Jam? I have not seen the new Space Jam, but I do have. I did have, I guess it's not over here. Huh. Okay, I have Space Jam. Um, I have not seen the new Space Jam. I want to though. 
I, I was told that it was okay. People have mixed feelings about it. Um, they say LeBron James is acting is kind of bad because he's not an actor. He's a baseball is a baseball player. He's a basketball player, so he's not really an actor. So I kind of give him a pass, but he's not very good. He's probably just reacting to green screen. He's kind of like how Michael Jordan was. He's interacting with probably people in the green screen, and they have the animate around him, says, which is probably not a lot. But um, I have not seen the new Space Jam, but I have seen the original. I have the original. I just don't know where it is because it's not where it's supposed to be right now. Hey, local legends, how you doing? Are you, uh, any of y'all want to come on the stream? Feel free. I got some movies. Like I said, that was talking about that little horror collection that I got. Um, I see the doc. I sent him a message earlier. I said that I was going to do a 10 o'clock. I don't know if he'll come on, but. But um, any of y'all got any questions for me? I have, like I said, I've only I've seen the first Space Jam. Um, I would like to go see the second one when I get paid. I get paid on Thursday, so maybe when I get paid, I'm off. I have to go do an interview on Friday, and then maybe after Friday, maybe I'll walk up to the movie theater, and then I'll go see the second Space Jam. I like the toys, like the animation and stuff like that. Like I like the real, realistic animation of like the things like the textures and everything like it looks like fur and stuff like that i like the live action space jam from the 2d animation or the 3d animation of the uh this character the looney tunes characters my biggest thing was is the movie going to be something stupid that has to like tie into modern day political stuff damn it local legend i have not seen Fear Street. I know it's not you. Maybe it's you and D. Maybe it's DPE said something about Fear Street. I have not watched any of the Fear Street movies or TV, TV show. TV show. Um, um, I have not watched the Fear Street show yet. Um, all the show, all the shows came out. Maybe I'll watch them if I do review it. Maybe I'll do a review of it. Go to my Patreon. Maybe that might be my first Patreon video I do. I do have a Patreon. It is. Go to my About page on my YouTube deal, and it should pop up on there. Follow me. I think it's $1, $3, and $5. Uh, I, like I said, I have not seen Fear Street, and I can do a review of them. Stuff, like, I can't put on here because it's so new that I don't want to get dings from YouTube and be like, I'm stealing their product. Or a uh, oh, Netflix, oh, I hiccups. Or a Netflix. I don't want them thinking I'm stealing their product by putting it on YouTube and talking about it. And so I can like use my, I can log into my Netflix on my computer and everything, and just take the and just do all that stuff. And then maybe I can do an actual review of every episode on my Patreon. But like I said, it would I would have to have I would um have to have some patrons to put the patron because i don't want to make that video and then not have any patrons to check it out and i will put it for and for a special because since that's a special video that people like want to see i'll put that um for everybody to see it doesn't matter what money clear class tier um you have on there so you can anybody can watch that video but yeah i'll have to check them out now i waited for the the new one that came out 66 uh 1666 but I've heard sort of eh, things about it, so it's whatever. Do I read comics? I do not read comics. Um, like, there is stuff that's comically accurate to the movies. Like, oh, fuck. Hold on. I can turn my fucking. Doctor Who. I don't read Doctor Who either. I have a friend who's really big into Doctor Who, and I had new people in middle school. 
when I was in middle school who were really big into it. Um, the only real doctor of the Doctor Who movies or the show that I know is um, David Tennant's Doctor. He was the 13th Doctor, right? I don't know. I don't necess- I don't read comics like I know stuff that's like comically comically accurate to the stuff like the source material and everything. But I'm not a stickler for reading comics and everything. I do not own anyone oh any comics. I would like to like get into it. Like I want to get first issues of stuff. Like I don't want to get like the Death of Superman 25th anniversary edition and stuff like that. Like I want to get the I want to get the like first editions of it. They have comic books at a store where I'm at, that's like the only real comic book things that they have, but I do not read any. Um, I would like to, like, I like Batman, I like Superman and stuff like that. I really want to read some more Justice League comics, especially with, oh, and Suicide Squad, um, with the new Suicide Squad movie come out, uh, coming out. Um, I want to see if I can get some um, when the new Suicide movie comes out, I'll have to get some See if I can find some suicide comic books, uh, maybe on eBay or something like that. Well, for shame, just kidding. Like, what do you mean? Like, for shame, well, for shame. Huh? Huh? Got something you want to say to me? Huh? <laughs> That's like, well, like, do I play games? Superman, Batman, I enjoy Image Comics. What is Image Comics? Like, is that, like, stuff? I want to get into Dark Horse, because I have, um, like, the Hellboy comics. Like, I want to see if I can get into, um, some Hellboy stuff. I know there's comics, but I don't know if they're, like, the legit ones. They're just not, like, the comic books in, like, the... They have the comics, right? But then they also have the books, the, the paperback books that they sell with the, um the comics in it. Like, I want to get the actual comic books for Hellboy. And Hellboy is more of a newer property compared to Batman and Superman because they've been around forever. Um, what? Yeah, I mean, I would love to get into it. Like I said, um, I... um. Just but also the other thing is we don't have comic books like we don't have comic book stores like there's places that have like like the books and stuff but we don't have like comic books and I think the only place I could think that we have like comic books is Books a Million and there's stuff there is way too expensive I go to a comic book store and get it for a lot cheaper but we don't have any comic book stores like near me Image is a brand like DC or Marvel okay. Like, is there any, like, notable characters, like, any, no, like, stuff that, like, people might know from Image Comics? Or is it, like, kind of, like, its own thing? Like, is it any, like, main mainstream stuff? Like, is it any mainstream? Like, is it, like, Hellboy that's, like, sort of mainstream, but it's not as big as Superman and stuff like that? It's time to say it now. Come on and do the jam now. You know who's ugly? My mom. Come on and do the jam now. Get up, it's time. Get up, it's time to slam now. And do the jam now. This is you walking down. Never know you just know you be the one to watch it. What the heck? I 
Um, I live in northern Texas, um, or the northern part of Texas. Um, we had a comic book store right the town over from us. I live on the Texas um, Oklahoma border. Um, we had a comic book store near us, um, but it closed down, I guess, because it was a comic book store plus collectible store. And now that I have friends who are able to drive and everything, and we can go check it out, they're not there anymore, so that fucking sucks. But um, oh. Can you, is my uh, audio coming in okay? Because my uh, internet connection was kind of janky there for a second. Am I coming in okay, guys? Can you all hear me and everything? Or am I coming in clear? Am I coming in static? Is it just like... I'm deep throating the microphone. Hold on. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't like this angle. I want to put this higher, but I can't. I won't put it higher. Am I coming in all clear audio? My video is probably kind of shitty, right? For some fucking reason. I don't know why, but... Ooh. There we go. Let's see if that's better. Anyway. All right. Good night. Um, but you know, to answer your, your question, um, I live in the northern part of Texas. We had a comic book store. It's not here anymore. Um, but that we have old bookstores that have comic books, but the comic books you're going to get are like the basic stuff, like a lot of Daredevil stuff. Um, nothing like insanely rare, unique by any means. A lot of this, a lot of this, the main comic book people you like people like marvel and dc and stuff like that anyway good night local legends nice thank you for coming on the stream um next one we have is americans psycho get this on dvd to my house that is um american psycho on dvd i did a review of this on my channel please go and check that out I don't know if it's a very good review. Um, this movie is interesting. It wasn't exactly what I thought. Um, the person who kind of turned me on to the show was the flick of the movie was the flick pick. John Flickinger. He talks about that movie all the time on his channel. And he um, and everything is like I said, it was like a good, it was an inter interesting comedy kind of movie. And it was stupid and. And everything, so I was like, "Yeah, yeah I'll check that out." And so I checked it out, and then I had a review of it on my channel because it was on. Funny enough, it was on like, either, I think it was Hulu. I think it was on Hulu, so I watched it on on Hulu, and then I did the uh, the review shortly after that. Um, but yeah, the. The the movie itself is really good. Like it, it, Christian Bale is really good in it, and um, it has its its funny parts. You know, very self absorbed, and it's kind of a interesting commentary on that culture at the time, especially in that business kind of. If you grow, if you knew that that business kind of lifestyle, I guess it is probably kind of close to what it is, um, to what it's like. Anyway, so I got that one.
<sighs> anyway, no. Uh, oh. We're just gonna die on stream. Just... Anyway, um, next one I got is Miami Vice with Jamie Fox and Colin Farrell. Is it Colin Farrell? Yeah, Colin Farrell. Um, the TV. If y'all if y'all are familiar with y'all, are probably more familiar with the TV show. If you're an old, if you're the older crowd out there, you're probably more familiar with the TV show with uh, Don Johnson. This is the 2012, 2011 remake of it. Hold on, let me. Let me look by right shit. 2006. What even fucking close? It wasn't even close. Um, so this one's about it says Jamie Foxx and Colin Farrell go to a deep undercover and explosive action packed underrated director's edition of the detectives of um, of a director's edition. Hold on. Jamie Foxx and Colin Farrell go to a deep undercover and the explosive action packed under unrated director's edition. When the detectives Ricardo Tubbs, Fox, and Sonny Crockett, Farrell, are asked to investigate brutal murders of two federal agents. They find themselves pulled into a lethal world of drug traffickers. A lethal world of drug traffickers. From the acclaimed director of Heal, Heat and Collateral comes the exclusive motion picture experience that you won't want to miss. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. The movie, like, it looks interesting. Like, you got Colin Farrell and Jamie Foxx, and Colin Farrell, they look good. Um, I didn't watch the uh, TV show, but that's where I know the name from. Like, I'm not completely clueless when it comes to that stuff. I had somebody talk to me the other day. Uh, talk to me the other day. They had This woman was wearing a blouse, like a shirt, and it was, like, very loose-fitting, and it had, like, cool flowers on it. I said, it looks very 60s. And the uh, the per the another person said like, "How would you know what the how would you know what the sixties are like?" She was like trying to be all weird and everything. How would you know what the sixties are like? I'm like, I have older parents who grew up at the time. Plus, I read history and and everything. I just think it's kind of dumb. It's like, yeah, you're older than me, but like, I'm not completely fucking clueless. You know, people take there's people they take fashion sense from all people from different you know. Time periods, even the modern day, on modern day, take inspiration from and fashion from the sixties and the the seventies and everything. Um. Anyway, sorry, I'm tired. All right, next one I got was actually a movie that I've watched before and I really dig. The Island starring Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. Um, this is a Michael Bay directed. Is it Michael Bay directed? Yeah, Michael Bay directed. Sorry. It's hard to see because it's all black and everything. Um yeah, this is a. This shows you how old the uh, the or how old this thing is. It was a blockbuster DVD case. It feels like a blockbuster DVD case, which is weird. I have a blockbuster. Um, I used to have Chicken Little, the movie Chicken Little. I used to have that on the blockbuster case, and then, um, but yeah, no, the islands are really good, like kind of sci-fi, futuristic. Really, these people are. Clones. Oh, I guess I probably shouldn't re spoil the movie for you. If you haven't seen this movie, um, if you haven't seen this movie, um, I'm just gonna talk about it for a minute. Um, these people are clones, or Scarlett Johansson and Ewan McGregor are clones of. He's like a multi-billionaire, millionaire type of guy, kind of business girl, and she's a model. And so these people are really rich and really wealthy, and are able to pay pay for clones of themselves. So if they get sick or they need a transplant or something like that. With these people, is they take they they have drawings, or whatever they they have different drawings. So if you you get picked from this drawing, you get to go to this vacation, or you get to get out of the the island or whatever. And um, from the Kate from the front, like I mean that doesn't tell you anything about the movie, like right there. So it doesn't give it away. It just looks like an action. 
it just looks like like one of those basic action movies. But actually, the movie is like a really interesting sci-fi esque thing where these are these people, Scarlett Johansson and Ewan McGregor are clones, and they're they escape this facility, and they get to see the real world and how people uh, react, and they're you know, you know, they try to slowly piece them together. Not they're not they're different from all the other clones. But yeah, if you haven't seen this, is one of those Michael Bay movies that's kind of like looked over. Everybody seems to shoot on them for like Transformers and um, stuff like that, and Con Air and those type of movies, and Armageddon for some reason. Um, but if you haven't seen this one, I think it's kind of fun. I enjoyed it. Like, is it a perfect movie? I wouldn't say so, but it's not the worst Michael Bay movie out there by any means. Hello. Um, don't do that. I'm on what? I didn't do anything. I didn't. I, I mean, I, I didn't do anything. I um, I rode the bike and then I walked on the treadmill and then that's not much. I didn't do much. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. By the way, you're on stream right now. It's okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Do you have a Do you have a computer? Oh, you don't have a computer at home that you can like a laptop or anything. Oh, I'm sure. Um, is it like tipsy your face? Right. Oh, I mean, if you ask her, she probably. Right. Is it like uh the the desktop or is it like? Which one is it? Oh, it's a laptop. Okay. Does it have a camera on it? Yeah, well, you can join me on stream if you want. I can send you the message on Instagram. I can send you the link on Instagram. Do what? I know you're driving at the moment. Yeah. Well, the offer stands open, and my audience is thirsty to know who I'm talking to right now. And so... Um, so yeah, feel free if you ever if you uh, want to come on stream to get home, I'll, I'll send you the link when you're ready and and everything. You don't have to show your face if you don't feel comfortable doing that. But yeah, anyway, I'll talk to you. I'll call you later. I'm doing a I'm doing a code giveaway, like a, a movie code giveaway. Did, have you seen the new Spiral movie? No, you haven't. I got the movie. So. I got it. I got this movie for Spiral. Nobody, Mortal Kombat, the new movie, and then I got Wrath of Man, which I wanted to see in theaters, but I wasn't able to. So, um, so yeah. Do you want to? you want a code? Okay, <laughs> I'll call you back in a minute. Okay. Alrighty. Bye. Anyway, um, sorry. Anyway, so yeah, the next one, like I was talking about, I got Spiral, the new uh, latest picture from the Saw franchise starring Chris Rock, which is an, a cool looking, um, the cool looking like slipcover and everything in the movie and the disc itself. It's like shiny and everything. And the disc um, is the same art. Um, it's a cool slipcover and everything. Um, but Spiral is the new Saw movie. And I was sort of surprised. Like, I saw the advertisements for it, and I don't know what, um, I don't know who edited the uh, the clips from the movie, or the clips in the trailer. It looked like Chris Rock's acting was going to suck so bad in the trailer. Like, it was like, he's that precinct. Like, he said it like that. He's like, He's in the hates Chris or something like that, but in the movie, I guess that's what I've been told. In the movie, apparently, it's a lot better than what he what they showed in the trailer, which is good. I was hoping that because Chris Rock he can do a good performance, like he can be a good actor if they did that. But Spiral is one of those is um is one of those movies that people were like kind of iffy about. Like I saw the advertisement, I was like, oh, another Jigsaw movie. And 
I unfortunately did not get to see it in theaters. This came out pretty early, I think. Um, but, um, anyway. Alrighty, and the next one I have is um, the next the next movie or set I have is the Blumkamp um, three set of movies. This one has District Nine, Chappie, and Elysium. I just watched Chappie the other day. Um, I actually really like um, I actually really like that one. I don't know how it was received when it first came out. Um, I was probably way too young to to watch that. Um, especially when, like, the guy gets, like, ripped in half. Um, when the guy gets, like, ripped in half by this, uh, the, basically, Ed 209, um, in the future, in this particular future. Um, and the first time I ever saw Die Antwoord. It is really, it, it actually is a really cool, um, collection. Like, it, it has the, the movie right here, and then it has a bunch of, um, stuff in it like you have um it's like a book of of stuff and then you have one for elysium and then district nine and everything i have not seen any of the other movies i think i started watching district nine but i was like when i was younger i didn't really like i wanted movies to capture my attention and that movie's probably more of a slow burn-esque um type of thing and i just that was what my style what my style, man. Uh, just it just wasn't my cup of tea. So when I f saw it, I was just like, "Oh, this is boring." And so, um, I haven't watched it. I've heard people say it's good, and um, I think the effects hold up for Chappie. I think that movie came out like twenty twelve. I want to thank. I'm pretty sure it sounds. I think it came out like. 2012, or hold on, let me look. Oh, 2015. And then Elysium was the last one, I think. Oh, no. Elysium came out in 2013. And then Chappie came out in 2015. And when did District 9 come out? Oh yeah, two thousand nine. So, so yeah, it goes. Um, District nine, um, Elysium, and then Chappie. Yeah, I think I was way too young to watch Chappie. It's twenty fifteen. That's been five years ago. Twenty or twenty twenty one. So yeah, probably six years ago. Because we got it after it came out of theaters. Because I remember seeing it in theaters, and then we rented it on Redbox or something, and uh, we watched it. So, yeah, probably probably saw it in, came out in 2015, probably saw it in, like, 2016, 20, maybe 2015, I don't know. But probably about five or six years uh, since I had seen the movie last, and from what I remember, I kind of, I liked it. Um, and so, yeah, I would recommend that one, but the other movies I haven't seen. Um, I've added quite a few movies to my collection. Pretty good. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway. I think the one I'm going to do is Aaron um, Aaron Louie. I think Burton, uh, I think Local Legend is already gone. Um, Aaron, um, which one of the giveaway, um, the digital giveaway, uh, digital download codes would you like? Um, I think you're the only active uh, viewer in there. 
So which uh, which one of the um, digital download codes would you like? And then I will send it to you. And then I will I will send it to you on Twitter. Oh yeah, by the way, go follow me on Twitter, guys. I've had a couple of people follow me on Twitter. But only but I need more. I need to be famous. I'm not famous yet. Um I wanna be you I wanna be Twitter famous. So yeah. Um which of the codes would you like? You only get one, by the way. You only get one code. And then if I have the other codes, um, and they're still good, which they should be good till next year. Spiral. Okay, well then I'll send you the digital download code for Spiral. That one is gone, folks. So if um, you wanted to see Spiral, well, tough shit. You can't see it now. Go buy the physical copy. I bought the Blu-ray. It's not too expensive. If you buy new movies, it's going to be pricier than old ones. But I now, now that I have Spiral... On Blu-ray. Now that means I gotta buy the entire Saw collection on Blu-ray, even though I have it on DVD. Because I like having movies in the same, and they're all the same in DVD. Like I just got the Terminator collection. Now I have all the Terminator movies on Blu-ray. But yeah, I will take a picture of the Spiral digital download code. How many? How many of these uh, have you gone? Because I know when the other digital download code that I did, um, you wanted it, which I feel bad because I did not give out that one. And I think it's already gone. Um, how many of these download digital download things do you do you get, or which like which the ones that have you have you gotten that are like cool, like good ones like what movies have you gotten on there? Well, where are you? Let me go find you. you have that ice cream? That's your thing. Is ice cream? I don't know when I will do another live stream. I've been doing more live streams recently. I don't know when I'll do um, another one. But um, I have all the other ones. Like I said, I have Nobody, Mortal Kombat, Rap the Man. I think the next Hol the Hollywood Mark podcast episode, um, I think I will do one of those. Um, I'll give one of those away on there, so... Um, and then I'll call the, I'll put the, I'll add the people in the chat to the wheel and, um, I'll see who gets to win that. That'll be more of a, if you're in the, if you come into the chat, um, well, that's the bad thing is not everybody has Instagram or Twitter. So I think I'll have to put a thing on there. It's like, Hey, if you, uh, Hey, if you guys will follow me on uh, Twitter or something, um, comment or maybe a video or maybe I'll put out a, uh, a video or a short or something on my channel like digital download code giveaway comment on this video and then i'll add you to the twitter please um please send me your uh twitter or twitter handle down here and i'll add you to the uh thing um or something i don't know but hopefully that'll be more people to do to give away um and and everything but thank you all for joining me for this short video i um, got some cool movies i got american psycho is really good and then um, I got all that, whatever that mess of a DVD is over there with all the 10 movies or whatever. And then I got Spiral and then the cool Blumkamp um, series. If that uh, code doesn't work or if you get a number number wrong or something, uh, please let me know if it works because I don't want you to get a defective code and if um, and everything. 
and maybe I'll stick another picture because you know I think you should be able to see you should be able to see all the yeah you should be able to see all those all the letters and everything so hopefully that works for you if not I apologize um, but yeah now next uh, code next uh, digital download code um, giveaway thing I'll do um, it'll probably be for the Hollywood Mort episode and then. I'll put you, like I said, put you in a, on a roulette, and then I'll spin and see who who wins. Um, when that episode will be, I already have the episode like ready. It's just the, the matter of if I'll be able to to do it or not, and get Doc on the on the panel and have somebody else to talk to. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya, bye.